Welcome to UC Improvement Academy. Today, let's learn about Process Map, a simple and powerful tool to unlock many improvement opportunities. Building a process map is essential during the understand phase, and its utility evolves as we move towards the continuous improvement and habitual excellence phases. There are many advantages of using a process map. It gives visibility to different steps involved in the process. It helps the team develop a shared understanding of how the process works since everyone sees the system differently. It helps show how one thing affects other interdependent parts and it can also help uncover improvement opportunities. After testing your way to a new standard process, an updated process map documents and clarifies implementation of the new standard work. There are multiple ways to build a process map and you can add different levels of details based on the needs and the task at hand. Let's walk through a scenario and build a detailed process map. My wife takes our son to his doctor appointments, and two times in a row they weren't happy with the amount of time it consumed. We started to build a detailed process map to see where the improvement opportunities are. All you need is boxes, diamonds, and arrows, where boxes are each step in the process, arrows show the direction of flow and the diamonds are decision points where process can move in one direction or the other based on the conditions. Walking through the process in the shoes of the end user, which in this case is my wife and son, is a great way to start understanding the system in place and how the end users experience the system from their perspective. The process starts either by making a phone call for an appointment or the clinic calls to set an annual checkup. Then the appointment date and time is set. On the day of visit, they walk into the clinic, head to the counter, fill out a form, provide insurance details and copay. Then they both sit in the waiting room awaiting their turn. This wait can be long, but they have a TV, some books, games, and educational posters in the room that keep them occupied. Then a nurse calls them and takes them to the exam room where the nurse checks vitals, height, weight, and asks a few questions. My son enjoys this part and is eager to see how much he has grown since the previous visit. The nurse then leaves and another wait starts, waiting for the doctor. This wait is unpredictably long and very boring. There is nothing to do and they are not informed how long this could take. The doctor then walks in usually starting with an apology for the delay, and then things get interesting again. My son loves talking to the doctor and ask her questions. After this step, the process comes to a decision point shown as a diamond. Did the doctor order a vaccine or a new test? If no, then they proceed to check out, schedule their next appointment, and leave. If yes, then they get information material about the vaccine get the vaccine shot or lab test drawn, after which the process goes back to the checkout till the end. My wife hates the stack of papers she is handed for information, especially she finds the printed information about vaccine and labs wordy and unclear. Now visually displaying what happens in a clinic visit and making it easy to identify where the problems and opportunities are will stir ideas for improvement. What if the staff could move some of the information typically shared at the end of the appointment to the time when my wife and son are waiting, solving both problems of non-valuable wait time and information overload at the end? What if the flow of activities was organized differently? Moving the nurse evaluation upstream can allow the dreadful wait to happen in the fun-filled waiting room. Hmm, seems like ideas worth testing. Another very helpful tool is a high-level process map. Here the process is lumped into five to eight key steps to give a big picture view. In this example, a high-level process map could be scheduling an appointment, check-in, nurse evaluation, physician encounter, and after-visit activities. This helps prioritize areas for different improvement activities and allows for grouping of key failures. 
This is especially helpful in simplifying complex processes where multiple things can impact the outcomes. It is always advisable to build process maps with your team. Include the frontline staff and the end users when possible. Everyone sees their part of the process differently, so engaging others is important to develop a shared understanding. This is also a healthy team building activity. Don't assume. Observe the process through go see activities and team up with people who do the work. Keep it simple. Use sticky notes to get started. This way people feel encouraged to make changes and redraw the process and reorder the steps as they see it from their perspective. The level of detail of this process map depends on what is needed from that improvement activity. Stay focused on the objective of improvement rather than the tool. Let's look at two more examples. The team in this clinic wants to introduce a new process of rechecking blood pressure if the first reading was elevated. After multiple PDSA cycles, this is their new process. After checking the first blood pressure, there is a decision point. Is the blood pressure within normal limits or not? The operator will make that judgment and decide how to proceed. Next is an example of delivering a five-component COPD care bundle in the ED observation unit. This process involves multiple people who need to complete their interdependent tasks to deliver the bundle. The tasks of each member can be identified in separate rows or swim lanes. In addition, the level of reliability of each step in the process is also mentioned. So you can see how multiple layers of information can be added to the process map as needed. Other options can include identifying areas of waste in the process, value stream mapping, turnaround times, etc. Now it's your turn. Leverage the power of this tool again and again and make the world better one process at a time. Oh.